Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending November the 4th, 2022. Well, we have about an hour and a half left in the trading day right now. Uh, the markets seem to have priced in fairly well uh, the, the Fed's uh, you know new rate hike. So Wednesday when it came out with the rate hike initially, initially the markets accepted it very well. It was good news and they thought they saw some dovish comments in the uh, in the notes that, that were had been released. But the longer the Chairman Powell spoke, then uh, th then it became clear, you know, that the Fed was intent on long term um, evisceration, if you will, of uh, any any savings accounts uh, in in middle class America's uh, disposal, in, in an attempt to blunt uh, the inflation in that aspect, that'll that'll, that'll crush the economy. Um, but uh, let me let me just point out that one uh, uh, lady that's on the Fed, uh, I can't remember exactly which. I think she's Kansas City uh, chair, uh, chief of the Kansas City uh, Fed, and uh, she actually came out and said that we've got a ways to go. We're still seeing indications that that uh, middle. She didn't say middle class, but essentially, you know, savings accounts out there are still are still flush, and so that could. Uh, uh, add to inflation, so they're looking at eviscerating those as they go. That's that's pretty sad uh, commentary. The uh, uh, employment numbers came in today, uh, you know, still pretty well, but there was other data that were, that were involved in that uh, release this morning, the 8:30 a.m. report that led uh, the markets to believe that uh, you know there is some reduction uh, in, in the pace of the, the economy's growth. And so perhaps that would be uh, better received by the Fed. Uh, it seems for whatever way that you look at it, that the markets have priced in this, uh, the federal pol the Fed Reserve policy fairly well, because, um, although, although bonds have just sold off and, and, and right now yields have, have spiked, uh, all across the board, with the exception of the one month, the remainder of the uh, of the curve is inverted. So about 91% of the curve uh, is inverted. Uh, that's a harbinger of recession. It doesn't have to be, but that's what's going on right now. So that's the that's the driver uh, in in terms of um, uh, where bonds are right now. Now there could be some silver lining in that cloud later on. Probably premature to speak to that right now, but we are starting to analyze. Uh, you know, if we can ever find a bottom in that bond market, and, and, and we're getting closer, we're certainly closer than we were, that might be some place for some opportunity down the road. Having said that, let's look back at equities real quick here, and I'll let you go uh, for this weekend. Beautiful weather here in the greater metropolitan Atlanta area. Big game, uh, big game this weekend uh, to, with uh, Georgia and Tennessee. Okay, so if we're looking at the Dow, Dow seems to be holding fairly well. Dow is now in a, a slight uptrend, a slightly positive uptrend, holding right around that 32,000 level. We'll see how that goes on. Next stop for Dow would probably be 31,000, you know, but uh, it, it seems robust against this right now. The defensive stocks and everything for a variety of reasons, that looks, that looks good. Uh, let's take a quick look at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ now, uh, because growth has taken a brunt of all this, looking back towards mid-October lows as we speak right now. So, you know, uh, 10,000, 10, uh, 10, 10, 3 right now is where, is where the uh, NASDAQ is, is, is wanting to uh, hold. As long as it doesn't break that 12.4, uh, that, that you know, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I misspoke. As long as it doesn't doesn't break um, the the uh, what was the open right? Let's see the one around around ten six fifty somewhere around there was what I it was what I was looking for. Couldn't get a number on it. The uh, screen changed on me. that. That would be uh, you know that that's kind of that's kind of where you would have to start watching that about getting uh, away from the the the, the, the heavy tech uh, growth stocks, and then um, for the S and P five hundred. Same story on it. It's more akin to the down right now. It's, hang, it's hanging out in, in, in a pretty narrow bound uh, range. It's going to break to one side or the other. At this point, given its downtrend, we would, we would likely uh, would not be so surprised if it broke to the downside. But, you know, 3,700 uh, 3, uh, thereabouts is where it's at right now. Um, uh, as, it, 
as it as it uh, the the markets digest this information now that we're kind of out of earnings season here, and and the new uh, Fed statements probably be looking at around uh, the next stop for for the S and P. 35, 3550, 3560 right in there. Uh, and then um, mid, mid road would be, it would like to trade, continue trading around that 3700 level. So that uh, that's the S&P right now. So the good news is that they didn't completely fall apart. Yeah, you had a big down move. Uh, Wednesday you had a down move, you know, indecision yesterday, but uh, uh, for the most part, uh, coming off of those highs, it was trading. All, all, all the market, all the uh, indexes were trading at, at their upper ranges. So uh, this is a, a normal technical pullback. Nothing to be afraid of right now. Let me just briefly compare this versus advice that I had given on the um, on, on, on four hundred one k type money. Here's the difference between four hundred one k. You have to split the four hundred one k in service plans up into two pieces. So the first piece is. Uh, your your already uh, invested money, and then what are you buying with new money? So you know, within service plans, as long as you're consistently buying with new contributions, then what you're doing there is dollar cost averaging. So it's okay if if, if we're going on. You, a lot of people might be thinking, why in the world was he pointing out sectors of the uh, style boxes to to be buying at this time where the market's falling? Well, that, that's a good time to buy, and over time your dollar cost averaging. So each new share. Is costing a little bit less and so overall as you continue to buy then you're actually uh, adding adding money in there is getting stocks at a discount waiting for the bottom when you do get the bottom then that's already built into your other uh, uh, ongoing investable accounts and then they'll grow they'll grow as time goes by as opposed to um, uh, managing accounts which we which we do uh, you know rollovers and that type of thing uh, and IRAs, etc., that people aren't necessarily consistently every two weeks putting money into, uh, then that's a very different uh, analogy in terms of buying, selling, in, out. Those are the are, are, are two glaring differences between in-service tax-deferred management and, uh, and, and out-of-service uh, tax-deferred management accounts, the amount of money that's consistently going in those. Okay, went a little bit longer than I intended to, but anyway, uh, that'll, uh, that's, that's good information for you. If you need some help putting together a strategic plan during this process, during these market uh, uh, change in times, okay, uh, the S&P uh, 500, the, the uh, NASDAQ still uh, very very well established downtrends. Uh, Dow is trying to pick up. It, it, it's, it has an uptrend. If you need some help putting all that together, want a strategic plan, give us a call. Love to help you out, okay? In the meantime, get out, enjoy this weather. It's going to be a beautiful weekend, beautiful weekend. Little vestiges, last vestiges of summer before we get into the holiday season. All right, stay happy. I'll see you next time.